Welcome to day two of CBIT 2010. I'm sitting down with Leslie Sobon, who's the Vice President of Global Marketing for AMD's products. Leslie, welcome to Hexus TV. Hi, Hexus. How are you? Very well, thank you. It's nice and early, so it's glad to see you. It's nice to be here. Okay. About six months ago, you launched the Vision brand, or Vision Branding. Right. So the idea was to simplify the whole PC buying experience. Absolutely. How's that been going, and do people really get it? Well, we're just in the beginning. Uh, we did some secret shoppers around the world in the U.S., Germany, U.K., and China. We just got the initial results back, and we were very pleased with it. What we found was when we've got the training and the point-of-sale material, the retention for vision works very well. Uh, we'll actually take that up a notch for uh, the spring cycle, and we'll be launching in the desktop space for vision as well as in the distribution channel. So all of our client platforms will have vision beginning this spring. So it's very exciting. Okay, so vision leads to platforms, as you yes. say. You're bringing out two new platforms this year on the desktop, or at least two. So you've got Leo, which is the high end, right. and Dorado. Can you talk a bit about them and what benefits they bring to the consumer? Sure, so we've got two desktop platforms and two notebook platforms, all launching at the same time. Uh, this spring in the May time frame. And when we talk about the desktop space, we've got both mainstream, which is Dorado, which is going to be our new uh, 8 series chipset integrated it's really for the value buyer in the mainstream desktop space. And then Leo is for the enthusiasts. And so we've got a new six core processor uh, that'll be in our Leo platform, our new 890 chipset, and of course our high end discrete cards, their 5870 that makes a, uh, a vision black system. So it's really the highest end of the highest end of the vision branding. And it's for that enthusiast community, the people that like to build their own, the people that are into video editing, and of course, hardcore gaming. Okay. What synergies does it bring to have all AMD parts in a system? Oh, I think it's, uh, you find a lot of balance in platform. Uh, we do a lot of testing and a lot of work that we do between the CPU and the GPU and the chipset to make sure certainly that everything works really well together. But we also have technologies like UVD where we do offloading and the transcoding, you know, moving that to the GPU. So there's a lot of advantages in owning three um, big pieces of the component of the platform and making sure that everything works better together and you get a balanced and, and a richer experience for the end user. Looking at the actual components themselves, yeah. the CPUs, you've got a whole bunch of consumer models from well, up to $200, yes. from dual core, triple core to quad core. Yeah, in can various brands. And can that not be really confusing for the customer? Oh, I think for the mainstream con customer, it's completely confusing. <laughs> I completely I'm glad that agree. So, I'm glad that somebody admits that. <laughs> um, and that's why vision is really what um, we project and what the brand is that we take to market for the mainstream consumer. I think for the enthusiast community, um, those guys, they, they know what they want. They understand technology. Many of them are building their own systems. That's a separate market. Um, and what, when we bring vision into that market, it's much more about making sure that we get the right platform pieces together that they can optimize for, you know, all the black parts, all the overclocking parts, and make that a lot easier. But for the mainstream consumer, they don't understand that branding. For them, um, you know, think about other parts of the market. Nobody knows what processor's in their TV, nobody knows what processor's in their camera, and they don't care. It's no different for PCs. Um, so that's why the whole strategy for vision technology from AMD came about. And so yes, we still have the branding, but it's much more for that enthusiast community. You won't see CPU branding in the mainstream consumer market anymore going forward once we launch vision with the rest of the platforms this spring. Okay, that's interesting in itself. Moving from CPUs to GPUs, yes. launched five series last year, yes. from top to bottom now. Yes. The top end parts have been limited in supply and we've heard from partners that they wish to sell more, and they could sell more, but it's been a problem of getting them through from AMD. Has that been cleared up now, and what can partners expect from here, say, three months from now? Supply especially, sorry, especially when your, next, when your competitor brings out their high-end parts. Right, um, certainly demand has been um, uh, much more than we expected, which is a, it's wonderful, right? We see um, huge demand for the high-end part of the 5000 series processors. The best that I can say is supply gets better every day. Okay. So um, we certainly, with, uh, with each cycle and with um, uh, each buying cycle, we see that supply increase. So it's going in the right direction. And looking forward, as marketing, you've got some interesting decisions to make. There's going to be a whole bunch of integration later on this year, at the start of next year. What opportunities does that bring for AMD? Uh, you're talking our fusion yes. uh, processors? Well, we're very excited about that, right? Um, so we've been uh, pretty vocal in 2011 will be um, for our client platforms, notebooks, as well as desktops, our new uh, fusion processors. And so right now, um, we're looking at silicon, we'll begin sampling, and uh, people will be able to buy fusion products um, 
uh, beginning next year. And so we're really excited. And does Fusion mean smaller, sleeker systems, but still retaining the same power that we have now? It's really about putting um, the best performance that you can and have the best experience for the end user in something that's low powered and sleek. So it will absolutely enable designs that are interesting and new form factors for us. But again, considering the technology, it will take it all the way up into standard mainstream form factors as well. So it will be a real top to bottom solution. And to whet our readers and viewers' appetites before Fusion comes in, what can we expect to see before then? What's the very high end? Is it the six core processor you alluded to earlier? For the desktop space, six core is um, uh, the crown of what we'll have for the enthusiast community. In the notebook space, we'll continue to drive performance, better uh, battery life in both our mainstream uh, notebooks as well as the thin and lights and ultra thin notebooks that we'll have for back to school and holiday. Okay, thanks Leslie. AMD's making some bullish predictions for 2010 and 2011. We're most looking forward to the fusion parts, but until then, head back for more on Hexus TV.